Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Since Donald Trump was elected as president, the left has been doing whatever they can to remove him from office by peddling lies to the American people. These spiteful liberals cannot accept the truth that Trump is in fact the president of the United States and beat Hillary Clinton, so instead, they will continue to fan the flames of division to create as much dissent as possible. The first tactic the left focused on was the bogus Russian collusion story, and as time passed the entire narrative began to blow up in their faces. Every time the left thought they had a piece of so-called evidence to tie Trump to the Russians it turned out to be a Clinton operative which has only frustrated the Democrats to no end. Now, these hateful individuals are focusing on a new tactic to remove President Trump from office and is employing those in his very own cabinet. Over the past year, the left has been throwing one heck of a temper tantrum and looking for any way they can to remove Trump from office. These radical liberals have made audacious claims about President Trump stating that he stole the election from Clinton to being a sexual predator. Though there is one claim that the left has made over the past several months that is somewhat concerning. The left has said on numerous occasions that Trump is unfit to be president based on his brashness and his affinity for tweeting on Twitter. Now, those calls had only grown louder over the last several weeks after Trump slurred his speech in one speaking engagement and again when he grabbed a water glass with two hands. The calls have grown so loud that many on the left have said that they need to invoke the 25th Amendment as grounds for removal to save the country. While these threats have come from liberals in office it has now been revealed that members of Trump's cabinet are discussing using this option which proves how deep the swamp really goes. Here is more from the Washington Times. Some members of President Trump's own cabinet have discussed plans to remove him from the White House, according to Roger Stone, Mr. Trump's former presidential campaign adviser. Mr. Stone claimed during a recent interview aired on C-SPAN that he heard that some members of Mr. Trump's administration have weighed whether they can invoke the 25th Amendment to take him out of office. Do you have any evidence that anyone is actively plotting or attempting or laying the groundwork right now inside the cabinet, inside the administration, to make that removal? Associated Press reporter Tom Lobianco asked Mr. Stone. I have sources and I work my sources, and yes, I believe there are some who have had this discussion. This is both outside the cabinet and in. I think it's the fallback plan for the establishment. That's why I'm trying to sound the clarion call, Mr. Stone responded. Mr. Stone declined to disclose specifics when pressed for further details, but he insisted his claim wasn't baseless. Like you, Tom, I cannot reveal those sources and I'm not prepared to do so, but this is not a conspiracy theory," Mr. Stone told the reporter. There are members of the cabinet who have had this discussion. Let me just leave it at that," Mr. Stone added. Mr. Stone, 65, advised Mr. Trump's successful 2016 campaign through August 2015, and currently he co-hosts an internet and radio program, War Room produced in connection with far-right conspiracy theorist and devout Trump supporter Alex Jones. Mr. Stone previously advised former President Richard Nixon and co-founded the lobbying firm in 1980 with Paul Manafort, Mr. Trump's former 2016 campaign chairman. Mr. Manafort is one of four people indicted as a result of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into the 2016 election and Mr. Stone predicted that the outcome of that probe will have an effect on potentially removing the president from office. You're going to see an enormous uptick in these irresponsible stories smearing this president as, you know, non compass mentis, not up to the job, and so on, particularly if Mr. Mueller should shoot and miss. So I'm being realistic about what I believe is the resolve of many in the political establishment to remove the president under any means necessary, Mr. Stone said during the C-SPAN interview. There is a plan afoot that is broader than just the cabinet. The 25th Amendment requires a majority of the cabinet and the vice president to remove the president.
I don't think that is achievable today, not on the heels of the historic tax cut, not on the heels of the disintegration of the credibility of the Mueller investigation. But we have seen what happens when a hysteria is whipped up among the people by some in the mainstream media. And I have always thought this is plan B for the two-party duopoly that has run this country into the ground, Mr. Stone added. The White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment concerning Mr. Stone's claim. Now, more than ever we need to stand behind Trump since there are those who are actively doing their best to remove him from office. The elites are so angry that Trump is dismantling everything they worked so hard for over the last eight years to implement the new world order, and they won't go away quietly. The plan was for Hillary Clinton to get elected so she could issue the final death blow to our country, and with Donald Trump in office, their plans have been thwarted. One can only hope that this is not true but considering that Trump is putting America first and not the globalist agenda it cannot be easily dismissed as a possibility which is terrifying. H.T., The Washington Times Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily. Daily.